The following is an excerpt from the feature documentary film, An American Small Town. To watch the entire film and learn how you can support this important film series, visit www.unamericansmalltown.com. right above the restaurant and uh, I always say I enjoy my 26 step commute you know in the winter when it's really snowy and that there's nothing better than coming down turning on the fireplace turning on the stuff in the kitchen and and knowing that I'm just a few steps from my home and I actually remember coming to this restaurant as a child never you know thinking someday I'm gonna own it and live here too it's kind of wild I think in the 1950s it became a bar and the guy that did all the interior wood owned it and then after that I think around 1960 or so it became a restaurant and was named the Glarner Stuba. <laughs> summers when I was going to college I worked at the New Glarus Hotel which is right across the street here and I was waitressing and uh, Gary was a cook. We worked for Hans Lenslinger at the New Glarus Hotel. That's where we met. It wasn't exactly love at first sight but that's where we met and got to be good friends. And then we went away for a while. We had a, a son and in Los Angeles and, and I got some more experience but when it was time to uh, buy a restaurant, there was no question that we wanted to be in this area. And once we had a child, it, we both kind of wanted to come back to a little slower pace of life and be closer to the grandparents and like kind of raise him more the way we were raised with in close proximity to family. So my mom actually was walking by this place one day and saw that it was for sale and knew that we had kind of been talking about having a restaurant. And so she told us it was for sale and we were like, wow, could we do this? And so, you know, it just kind of all happened. The uh, pork schnitzel sandwich is one of our most popular ones, and uh, I kind of came up with that recipe myself. And the cheese curds also, we hand dip them, which is a little different than a lot of places that use a frozen product. So it's a little more work, but um, it's, I think it's worth it when they go out to the customer. The flavor, you can't beat it. Uh, the bacon that we get here, I, I would put up against anywhere in the world. The, the cheese that we have available to us. And it's, it's just a really nice way to do business. Uh, when you can walk down the street as a chef and, and have access to some of the finest sausages in the world, you know? Uh, it's, it's, and it's, it's a great neighborly thing to do. It, it support your neighbors while they support you too.